Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Jordan Young, AKA Sneakonomics, back with a, another Certified Hood Classic. In today's Boston Banger, I'm gonna be bringing you guys my review on the UGG Tasman Weather Hybrid. I posted a short featuring these shoes the other day, and I've gotta say that the response to this shoe, not unlike the purpose that this shoe was designed for, was a little bit frosty. A lot of you guys out there do not like these. Now this isn't paid or sponsored I didn't get sent these or anything I went out and spent my hard-earned AdSense paycheck money on these and after wearing them around the house I've got to say I like them a lot firstly let's talk about Uggs or Ugg. This is an Australian company. Shout out to Australia, get a mate, didgeridoo, billabong, wallaby, blow me down, stone the flame, and courage if I can. And the brand has long been associated with predominantly girls. I can remember growing up in New Zealand where the standard teenage girl fit was leggings and Uggs all year round without fail. And so the idea of wearing Uggs as a guy has been an idea as foreign to me as wearing high heels. They've definitely been creeping more into the mainstream footwear and sneaker market, it has to be said, particularly last year when we saw the viral overshoe Ugg sensation. You guys must remember that trend that went viral last year where Ugg created these sort of plastic overshoes that you could wear to protect your sneakers. And people were wearing them like they were a thing. Fast forward a year and we have these. These are called the Tasman Weather hybrid. It's a play on the classic Tasman slipper, which is one of Ugg's flagship models. I'm sure someone in your family probably owns a pair of Tasmans. These have been modified to be able to go from loafing about the house to sleuthing about the streets in all weather, mainly thanks to this midsole and this rubber unit and this synthetic adjustable galosh. These are, for all intents and purposes, a slipper that you can go outside and wear in the rain in the bush. At the moment, there are four colorways of this model available. You have a forest green, a chestnut and orange, a black on black and then the colorway that you can see here the chestnut and white cap no cap now when i tell you these things are popular i'm not lying if you go onto the uggs website right now here in the uk the only pair that has a size run available is the chestnut and orange color every other model is sold out if you go on to other stockist places like selfridges or Foot Locker, you can't find sizes meaning as much as you might try to deny this shoes cool they are popular people like these people are hoovering these up and i am one of them they are made with recycled materials the lining is crafted with responsible materials. They have this waterproof suede and seam sealed constructions as well as their cozy Ugg plush upcycled wool lining. They offer this light slipper feel. They slip on and off super easy. And the outsole is made from renewable rainwater nourished sugarcane and features a permanent silicone galosh for wet conditions. They also have a contoured EVA footbed, spider rubber pods, for traction and as you can see on foot I think they look really cool if you wear them with a baggier cuff jean they could just as easy be mistaken for some kind of Timberland type boots and unlike these boots which when you get home, you can't wait to take off. Because these feel like literal slippers on foot, when you get home, you don't even wanna take them off. In terms of the sizing, these do run small. And so if I have gone some ways to convince you about these, you need to make sure that you go at least a half size up, if not a full size up. The added benefit also for you short kings out there is that these have a bit of a sole on them, meaning you're going to afford yourself a little bit of extra verticality when you wear Wear them. The only downside of these is they're a little bit expensive, 170 pounds, which is basically the same price you're paying for a Jordan 1 these days. But in my opinion, they are worth it. The quality on the material is really good. Feeling when you slip your feet inside is awesome. The fact that they've been crafted responsibly and they're built for all conditions is definitely a bonus as we make our way into the winter season. And aesthetically, I think they look pretty cool. All in all, I think it is a 
W shoe and I'm pleased to have them in the collection. I'm really looking forward to wearing these this winter. I've already been wearing them around the house. And I'm definitely embracing this current comfortable sneaker era we are in. A year ago, I didn't have any Crocs in my collection. I've bought some Crocs. I didn't have any foam runners in the collection. I've got foam runners. And now I have a pair of Uggs. I like it. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments what you thought of my review. Be sure to like the video before you bounce, even if you didn't like the shoes. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care for now and peace.